This one video has the power to completely change your e-com brand forever. The Wacom series is by far the highest revenue driving email flow, but most brands get it completely wrong. I've worked with over a hundred e-com brands and generated over $40 million in sales just through email. And I'm showing the exact Wacom series structure that I've spent years refining. It runs 24 seven, converts cold traffic into first time buyers and sets the tone for your entire customer relationship. Now in this video, I'm gonna share my exact strategy for the Wacom series. I'll share the flow structure, email examples, and teach you how to set this flow up within Klaviyo. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so before we begin, I think it's important to have a bit of a reality check. Now, the world of e-com these days is very, very crowded. It's very competitive and it's not the same world of e-com that it was five or 10 years ago. These days, traffic is very, very expensive and it's getting more expensive every single year. Now, majority of brands are spending thousands, tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of dollars every single month on their paid ads, but they don't have much of a strategy of what happens after they land on your website. Now, once a user goes to the website and they leave, what typically happens? How are you gonna bring them back? Are you just gonna spend more on retargeting ads to bring them back to your website? Now that's just a part of the strategy, but it's not gonna be the entire strategy of how to get them to convert. Now, look, if you think about it, most users that go to your website aren't gonna place an order the first time they visit. It's very, very rare. If you even think about it yourself, you know, how often do you buy a product just the first time you see it? Not very often. People need multiple touch points. You need time to think, maybe you wanna read some reviews, you wanna compare them to competitors, you wanna do your own research and you wanna feel comfortable before you place an order. So if someone goes to your website through an ad and they leave, well, you've pretty much lost them. You've lost the opportunity to educate and nurture them. And that is when email marketing comes in. Because if someone goes to your website and they're not ready to buy just yet, but they sign up to your email list, they've pretty much given you permission to nurture them. And that's why it's a critical element of the entire customer journey because you're able to get them from being a brand new website visitor to a first time customer with you. Now in the world of marketing, there is something called the rule of seven. This is a long standing principle and it basically suggests that a potential customer needs at least seven touch points with you before they're likely to take action or make a purchase. And this is based off research. So typically what we have is someone that goes to our website, they're not gonna be ready to buy until they experience at least seven touch points with you. After this, you've broken through the trust threshold and they are ready and primed to buy. Now, if you think about how many brands you see in a day, on your phone, walking down the street, on the TV, in your inbox, it's hundreds, maybe even thousands every single day. In a world of constant noise and competition, consistency and repetition are the only thing that can get you to break through the clutter. So the rule of seven is not just about familiarity, it's about building trust, relevance, and comfort. So every time you expose your brand to the customer, you're moving them further down that trust threshold and getting them closer to that purchase decision. Now, if we use this framework for an e-commerce brand, this is what it looks like. Now, the most popular way of brands to discover you is typically through paid ads. So they might see a Facebook ad or a Google ad and they go to your website. So that touch point one is gonna be the ad, visiting your website is gonna to be touch point number two. Then our goal is for them to see a pop-up. So that's gonna to be touch point number three. If they sign up to our newsletter list, they're gonna get welcome email one, which is gonna be the fourth touch point. Then touch point number five is gonna be welcome series email two. Then we have email three. Now, and then they might see a retargeting ad or they might get welcome email four and that gets them past that threshold and they are ready to place an order. So that gets us to conversion. And then after conversion, we have subsequent touch points, which are gonna be for post-purchase and for loyalty. But these are basically the four steps, right? So we go from awareness to consideration, to conversion, to then loyalty. Now the welcome series is focused on these first three steps, getting them from step one to step three. And this is pretty much what it would look like with a brand that is set up correctly with a good pop-up and a strong welcome series. Now, the reason we wanna set up a welcome series instead of just paying a lot more on paid ads is because the beauty of email marketing is that it allows you to control the cadence of the messages. And you're able to basically send each message over a certain period of time in the exact order that you want. Retargeting ads are not gonna give you that level of control. Now, I still think you should have retargeting ads, but they need to be working side by side with a strong welcome series. So that way you don't have to rely entirely on the algorithms of social media, or just hope that someone remembers your brand and comes back to your website. Now, the welcome flow lets you tell your story in chapters, not just in one-off ads. It's the difference between trying to sell someone a car in a 30 second commercial versus inviting them to a series of informative, persuasive, and entertaining episodes that make them confident in their decision. Now, without email, most of your hard earned traffic disappears after touch point number one. 
That's the reality of it. So with email, you are able to extend the customer journey across seven, 10, even 20 more touch points without spending a single cent on your paid ads. Okay, so what is a welcome series? Now, the welcome series is basically the sequence of emails that gets triggered after someone joins your newsletter list. Usually it's through a pop-up. So the number one goal of the welcome series is to turn a stranger into a first time buyer and then eventually a fan of your brand. Now, what the welcome series does is Firstly, it builds trust fast. You're not just another store, you're a brand with a purpose. Number two is it delivers on the promise. So for example, if you say get 10% off if you join our newsletter list, then of course you want to give them that 10% off in the welcome series. Number three is you're able to educate and differentiate. You're able to focus on what sets you apart, why are you different, and what makes your products better than the competitors. Number four is you're able to overcome objections. Things like shipping time, price, quality. You're able to address them before they even pop up in the customer's mind. And lastly, you're able to drive the first sale. You're able to make it frictionless to buy now. Have smart CTAs, social proof, and urgency within the flows, and it's gonna convert like a charm. Now, a good welcome series isn't just about selling. It sets the tone for long-term customer retention. Now, here are some examples of some welcome series flows that I really liked. So here's three. Um, as you can see, this is kind of what it looks like. You have some key information about your brand and then you also wanna highlight some key products. Now I'm gonna go through the full strategy with all six emails later on in this video, but this is kind of what the emails should look like. Now most brands don't realize this, but a lot of them are losing a ton of sales by just having a poorly performing welcome series. Now here are the Clavio 2025 benchmarks for the welcome series flow. Now on average, industry average of welcome series open rate is 51%, but the top 10% brands get over 74% of an open rate. The average click rate for a welcome series is, is 4.92, but the top 10% of brands get a click rate of over 15%. It's the same thing with place order rate, which is a conversion rate. Most brands get around 1.97% conversion rate, but the top 10% of brands get over 9% conversion rate. Now that is a huge difference. Now I talk to a lot of brands that aren't even getting the average of 1.9% conversion rate. They're far below that, but our goal is really to get them to be in that top 10% of e-commerce brands that get a 9.8% conversion rate. Now let's run the numbers and see what this looks like in real dollar values. Let's say on average, you have about 50,000 monthly visitors. So this is going to stay the same and your pop-up conversion rate is 5%. That's pretty average, nothing crazy. Now that means you're getting 5,000 new subscribers every single month. If you have an average conversion rate of 1.9% and an average order value of $100, your welcome series revenue is gonna be around 9.8K per month. Now, if you're able to optimize your welcome series and get it close to that 9.8%, this is what it looks like. By changing nothing else, by just building a strong welcome series, you're able to drive an extra 40 thousand dollars just by optimizing your welcome series now that means you're not spending a single cent more on ads you're just changing the welcome series and you're able to drive an extra forty thousand dollars in sales now let's see what it looks like if you scale your ads and you're able to double the amount of monthly traffic that you get now the number becomes ninety eight thousand dollars basically an extra ninety thousand dollars by having a strong welcome series and by scaling your ads. So this is pretty much what I'm talking about, where you wanna have your ads still scaling well and your welcome series performing incredibly. That gets you to driving $98,000 just from the welcome series. But if you just scale your ads and you just and you double your traffic, but your welcome series is still performing not that great, then of course, you're, you're only gonna be driving around $19,000 in sales. So that's pretty much a $70,000 difference. It's huge. So that's why the goal of this video is to teach you guys how to build a high converting welcome series that drives a ton of sales on autopilot every single month. By the way, if you run a seven or eight figure econ brand and you're watching this, uh, you really shouldn't be doing this by yourself. Because if you wanna scale your brand further into the high seven or eight figures, then this really isn't a good way to spend your time. Your time should be spent on running your business and focusing on growth and acquisition. So yeah, if you are a seven or eight figure founder watching this, you'd be much better off outsourcing this to a team, perhaps even mine. So if that's you, book in a call using that first link in the description. Okay, now back to the video. All right, so what makes an elite welcome series? First of all, you need to have a high converting pop-up. Now, this video is about welcome series. It's not about pop-ups. Now, if you wanna learn more about pop-ups, I'm gonna link a video on the top right-hand side of this screen and watch that video. It goes through our entire strategy about pop-ups. With that being said, the importance of having a strong pop-up is critical. A weak pop-up basically equals a weak welcome flow. It doesn't matter how good your emails are. It can be one of the single biggest factors that can destroy your welcome series revenue. You know, if you could build the perfect welcome series, have a incredible strategy, but if your pop-ups only converting at 2% or less, then you're severely limiting that your revenue because the emails just are not going to enough people. So 
you wanna have a pop-up that converts between five to 10% of your web traffic into email subscribers. Now, these are some examples of some pop-ups, but I have a full deep dive on all the different types of pop-ups, how to use them and how to get the highest conversion rate on your pop-ups. So please watch that video if you haven't watched it already. So next is you wanna send more than just one email. Now, I see welcome series all the time where, where brands just think, well, people just wanna get that 10% off discount. So let's just send an email with the 10% and let's leave it at that. But that is not a good strategy. You know, people forget fast. One email is not enough to build a relationship and over 90 percent of people aren't even ready to buy on day one so you want to focus on nurturing by just sending the discount code and just leaving it you're missing your chance to educate build trust and handle objections for all the subscribers that didn't place an order just from email one, which actually is over 90% of people. Now you wanna send at least five emails in this sequence, but I've gone through a six email sequence that I'm gonna share with you guys in this video. You wanna build an emotional connection. You wanna introduce your why pretty early on. This is gonna create emotional buy-in. It makes your brand more memorable and relatable. So it's not just about, this is our body wash, it's $5 less than what you'd pay at the supermarket. It's not about that. It could even be more expensive, but as long as you can teach the customer why, that's the most important thing. You want to separate yourself and you want to build that connection and nurture the audience about what sets you guys apart. So as you can see, you want to highlight your values, your core purpose, your mission of the brand, and you want that to resonate throughout all of the emails. And next, you want to use the winning formula for email. Now, what I like to call the winning formula for email is having a mixture of promotion, social proof, and education sprinkled out throughout the entire flow. Now, most brands just focus on promotion. You know, they just focus on buy that product, here's 10% off, buy this product, 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 product. That's not the way to do it. You wanna educate, you know, what sets you apart? You wanna have social proof, you know, what are others saying about you? All three elements are critical elements to get a customer to being ready to buy. So education focuses on why this product matters to them. Promotion is why now is the right time to buy and social proof is why they can trust that it'll work. And you'll notice that all three of these elements are sprinkled throughout the entire flow structure that I'm about to share with you. So let's get to the flow structure. So this is what the flow looks like. So first of all, the trigger is, of course, someone joins your newsletter list. Then immediately you wanna send an email that introduces them to the brand and you wanna share the discount code with them. Email two is gonna be two days later and you're gonna focus on what sets you guys apart. You wanna highlight your process, just things that set your brand apart from your competitors. Email three is gonna highlight your best selling products. And then two days later, you wanna have a note from the founder as email four. And then two days after that, you wanna have a reviews and testimonial email where you highlight customer reviews. And then email six is gonna be your offer expires in 24 hours. So I'm gonna show you examples of every single one of these emails and I'm gonna walk you through them one by one. Okay, so here's an example of welcome email one. So welcome to the brand and you wanna give them the discount. So as you can see, right at the top of the email, they've highlighted two key things. First of all, they've got a CTA above the fold, which means that people don't have to scroll before they can get to the CTA. Secondly, they've added the offer above the fold as well. So quite often I see brands that people have to scroll all the way down to find where the discount code is. You need to make this simple and easy. You wanna have the discount code right up the top. It needs to be the first thing that customer sees. As you can see here, they've added it to the CTA button, which is perfect. So as the email goes on, they've got a little bit more education about them. Again, they've added some social proof. So it's science-backed, clinically studied ingredients with third-party trials. So they've built plenty of authority with just the first three sentences. And then they're highlighting some key bestsellers. So then this section is basically just promoting. So they've got shop now, shop now, shop now. And these are basically the most best-selling products for the brand. Right down below, they've added another CTA. So if someone goes all the way down to the bottom, they, they can easily find a way to click through and go to the website. Next is gonna be our process. You know, what sets us apart from the rest? We see, it says, we don't mass produce, we don't cut corners, we wait, we watch, we listen to the land. So this is a citrus brand that is highlighting what sets them apart from basically just buying citrus from the grocery store. So it says, you know, welcome to paradise. It focuses on exactly what sets this brand apart. So the unique microclimate, pure ingredients, pure delight, made by hand, sweetness guaranteed. So as you can see, it's just educational. There aren't even any product images in most of the email. No shop now CTAs, just education. Then down below, they've got a CTA to take them to placing an order. It's right at the bottom of the email. So again, you wanna focus on just educating with this email. You're not trying to do a hard sell. The email is just about what sets your brand apart from the rest. Then if you've done email two correctly, they should be well primed to place an order. So then you wanna highlight your best-selling products. So as you can see, this email is purely promotional. 
channel. So unveiling our top performing remedies. So as you can see, you know, buy now, buy now, buy now, highlighting the key best selling products of the brand. That's it, pretty straightforward. Then email four is gonna be a note from the founder. So here is another email where we wanna build a personal connection with our audience. We wanna share with them what the brand is all about. You know, you know, why did it start in the first place? It says, you know, inspired by the healing tonics that my grandma brewed for me growing up. So again, personal connection. You've got a photo of the founder and you've just got a block of text. That's it. Down below, you can still have a CTA to get the customer to go to your website. Now, email five is gonna be about reviews because by this point, we've done our promotion, we've done our education, and now it's time to double down on the social proof. Because if someone's opened email one, two, three, four, that means they're very engaged, they've probably read through all of the emails, they're very, very close to that purchase decision, but something is holding them back. Now, reviews go a very long way for pushing the audience across that line, making them feel more comfortable about placing an order. So here we wanna highlight what other people are saying about your brand. So very simple, you wanna showcase some reviews, show the products that their customer reviewed. Now, the most important thing for the reviews is you wanna have the customer's name. If you don't feel comfortable adding their full first name and last name, you can just have, say, Kelly M., uh, but it's very important to have the customer's name to make it feel authentic. And then of course you wanna have some CTAs in the email to get the customer to take further action to then go to your website and hopefully place an order. So the CTAs can either take the customer to more reviews, more education about your brand, or you can take them straight to your website so then they can start browsing for themselves. Now, the last email is gonna be offer expires in 24 hours. Now, by this point, we've pretty much hit them with all the elements that we were planning to do, but there's still something holding them back. Now, the next best thing to push people across that line, if there's still something holding them back, is by upping the urgency. So you want to have an email that has strong urgency, that basically has copy, where the copy really focuses on adding urgency. Now, one thing that I actually like to do throughout all of the emails, email one through five, so you can pretty much add a small section like this to basically every single one of these emails that I was talking about. So you can basically add a section down here above the footer where it says, we notice that you haven't used your code, it's gonna expire soon, click through to get 10% off your first order with us. And that's a section that you pretty much wanna add throughout all the emails right at the bottom. And then if someone still hasn't placed an order, then you have email six, which really ups the urgency. So that's pretty much it with the email structure. So now I'm gonna teach you guys how to set this flow up within Klaviyo. To set up the welcome series flow, we just go to flows on the left and then click create flow on the top right. And I'm just gonna search for welcome and it's gonna be the welcome series standard. So just click on that. Now you can just select whatever name you like. I'll just call it the welcome series. And over here, the trigger is gonna be when someone subscribes to your newsletter list. So make sure this list is the exact uh, main newsletter list that you use for your brand. So it could be called something else, um, but by default, it's usually just called newsletter. So this should be the list that's also connected to your Shopify store as well. We want it. And then by default, this flow looks pretty good. Uh, what we're gonna add is just one filter at the top. So profile filters. Uh, now, the goal of this filter is pretty much that if someone places an order during uh, this flow, it should just stop the flow. So it shouldn't send uh, subsequent emails. So if someone places an order by after seeing email two, then email three, four, five won't send. And basically what we wanna do is click profile filters, what someone has or has not done. Uh, it should be placed order and then zero times since starting this flow. And the good thing about profile filters is that basically every single time an email is sent, it's gonna do this filter before it sends it. So it's gonna make sure it filters out people um, every time there's a new email. So even if someone, you know, between one email one and two, they place an order, then the rest of the emails, it will not uh, pass this filter for those customers. So that's pretty much it. So once you click save, um, now the last thing left would just be to add, you know, the additional email. So you just add a drag over a time delay, drag over some more emails and then you would click on the actual email and then you know edit those designs. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for making it this far. I really do appreciate your time. If this video was helpful to you, please consider subscribing. It goes a long way for our channel and like this video so it gets pushed to more people like you so we can help even more people with their email marketing. So thank you so much for your time. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.